This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a neon style retro visual inside of After Effects using Saber. Saber is a free plugin from Video Copilot. It's an awesome plugin. I have mentioned the link to download this plugin in, in the description below. So make sure to download it before you start this video. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get straight to the tutorial. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080, that is full HD, 30 FPS, and let's make this 10 seconds long. Call this render as our main render com. Hit OK. Now let's create one more composition which is gonna be a line com which in which we will create those lines that animate into the project so to do that i'm going to change the height to 1920 as well so the complete com size will be, will be 1920 by 1920 i'm gonna hit ok so we have a square comp just like that let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this line hit ok and then i can go into effects and presets type in a saber let's drag and drop this effect pretty simple let's move this point to this corner and this one to the very center so i can basically set this to 960 and this one to 1920 so it's pretty accurate now we can go ahead and animate it so let's jump into the custom code and we can animate the uh, start offset just like so all right, so I'm gonna set this to 100, create a keyframe, go to one second, and let's set this to zero. Then create a keyframe on the end offset, go to two second and set this to zero. So basically we have a pretty simple animation. Let's bring down the end size to around 30%. So we have kind of a beam going on, as you can see, looks pretty cool. Now let's select the layer, hit U so we can see the keyframe. Let's zoom in a bit and I'm going to offset this a little bit. So let's go to around 20 frames. Let's select the keyframes and drag this. Let's see what we get. So, yep, that is what I am going for. So I'm going to go to around, let's say two seconds, hit control K and change the comp size or the duration size of this composition to two seconds. All right, hit OK. Let's go back into our main render comp, go into project panel and drag and drop in the lines composition. That is the basic line that we just created. Now let's hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. I'm going to make sure the background is black. Hit OK. Let's put this at the back and it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to place it in the way in the way that I want it. So First of all, before placing it, let's add a simple expression so that the animation keeps on looping. So to do that, I'm going to select the layer, right click, go into time and enable time remapping. Hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in loop out, open and close parentheses. So now if I just stretch this, it's going to keep on looping and that is what I want. All right, so I'm going to select this. Let's close this. Hit Control D to duplicate it. Also, I'm going to make sure to select both the layers. Hit F4 so you can see the mode, transfer, uh, transparency mode, and let's change them to screen. All right, and then select the second one. Hit R and rotate this in the position that I want or in the rotation degree that I want. Select it, hit Control D, and let's rotate it like so. So we have a Kind of an interesting look right here pretty awesome you can create some really interesting um design using this so basically you can see the center is not proper so i can jump into the lines composition let's select this go into effects and control and let's try to position this 
so basically what we need to do is change this to 960 i think yep and let's set this to zero okay so now it's gonna be properly from the center and it's looking pretty good now let's offset them a little bit so i can maybe offset them by i guess 20 frames so i can just move this one and move this one as well so somewhere around there so basically we get this really nice animation but i think um you know 20 frames is a bit too much so let's see just to be sure all right so it's looking good maybe i think the lines are too big so to do that to fix this basically i'm gonna move these two keyframes to 15 frames so it's gonna be a bit short yeah that is looking proper to me now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information check out the link in the description below. So that's ready now let's create those triangles now the best part about the complete method or the complete effect is that you can use any shape or alphabet or even text if you want to so i'm going to use a triangle so to do that i'm going to select the polygon tool and let's hit Control y to create a new solid called the saber or you can also call it triangle and while i'll drag the shape you can use your arrow keys to increase or decrease the point so i can maybe make it a polygon but i like to go with a triangle for now so i'm gonna keep it a nice small um, triangle basically something like this big all right let's um, go into effects and preset drag and drop in the saber effect and in the custom core i believe let's change this to layer mask and boom there we go pretty awesome triangle let's change it to a different color which looks much more interesting to me yep that is doing good let's bring down the core size to two so we have a much more organic look for our triangle so let's go ahead and animate this first of all let's hit f4 and change the oh hit, hit f4 and change the blending mode to screen and then let's um, animate the triangle also i'm gonna bring down the glow bias to 0.3 maybe that looks much uh, better let's animate our triangle now so hit s to bring down the scale property let's scale this down mm, somewhere around there looks good make sure it's not cropping from the edges if if it is then what you need to do is select uh, the layer hit m to bring down the mask property select the mask hit control t and then basically just um, scale this down by holding alt control and shift at the same time so that is going to fix that and then hit s again create a keyframe on the scale hit r to bring down the rotation create a keyframe on the rotation and hit t e to bring down the opacity create a keyframe on the opacity bring that down to zero hit u so we can see all the keyframes now i'm going to go to around um let's go to three seconds and set the rotation to something like this and then scale this up really high like so and yeah let's go to one second set the opacity to 100 go to, then let's go to um, two seconds create a keyframe on the opacity go to three second and bring that down to zero so basically we have this really nice animation so i'm gonna hit Control shift h so we can hide the guide layers and not the guide layers actually the control layers the visible controllers of the layer now you can see the triangle is not perfectly into the center so i'm going to turn on the title action save let's select the triangle hit m select the mask hit Control shift h and then hit Control t and i'm gonna try to place the triangle into the center basically something like that and i think now it's looking much better so let's see our animation and i think it's looking pretty awesome now obviously we want to loop the complete animation so again i'm going to use the same expression i'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the scale type in loop out copy this so hit ctrl c and let's paste let's paste this on the rotation and the opacity as well 
so basically everything is going to keep on looping there we go pretty nice now one thing that is very important here in order to achieve uh, perfect glows and to avoid color bendings make sure you switch to 16 bits so hold alt and click on this button so it's gonna switch to 16 bits and then let's create a new adjustment layer call this noise and let's go in effects and preset type in noise and let's add the noise that we have here and set this to around three percent looks good and this is gonna fix all the color bending issues and make the complete visuals much more appealing so this is looking pretty good now you can as i said before you can use number of different shapes or even text to get a really interesting look but what i'm gonna do is duplicate this hit ctrl d let's move this by around um, i don't know let's go with 20 frames hit ctrl d and let's move this 20 frames and now we have a really interesting look maybe 20 frames is a bit too fast so let's go with one second and then set this to two seconds pretty nice so this is looking pretty awesome and our complete visual is ready to roll right now i can just simply uh, go ahead and type in whatever text that i want so i'm gonna use akira expanded which is a really interesting font if you want to use that let's type in a text you can type in maybe if you're using it as a music music visualizer then um, you can maybe add your music name or something like that let's hit control d and i'm gonna type in neon or uh, retro neon vibes let's bring that down and increase the spacing a bit and i think it looks pretty awesome so you can use this uh, simple technique in number of different ways you can use even different colors for every line so maybe if i go with uh, something like a green and before this one maybe you can go with something like a purple i don't know just brainstorming stuff here but you know you can really achieve some really cool retro style animations it looks pretty cool so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on uh, creating the school neon retro vibes inside of after effects using saber if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video and also do let me know in the comment section below i read each and every comment you can also follow me on instagram and if you wish to support this channel you can support me on patreon you can also download some really cool templates from my patreon page so make sure you check it out the link to everything is in the description below with that said i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out